building a defense to beat beach erosion. That tops tonight's Garden State Express. Our first stop, Berkeley Township in Ocean County. Volunteers are lining the Jersey Shore with spades in one hand and wisps of grass in the other. On Island Beach State Park, they dig six to eight inches into the nature-made sand dunes to plant the grass. In other spots along Jersey's long coast, they do it in man-made dunes. A University of Pennsylvania doctoral student has studied the effect of dune grass and determined it preserves the dunes. How does it work? As the grass grows, its roots form a weave and hold the dunes together. It's a natural protection against storms and other ways beaches can erode. Next to PPAC, and just because a disability robs you of speaking doesn't mean you can't have a voice. That's one of the lessons and goals of the statewide Stages Festival. It's a month-long event for actors with disabilities to express themselves. The Thaney Medical and Education Center says folks often first notice the disabilities of its residents, but Stages allows those residents to show what they can do, what they're capable of doing by giving them access to the arts, and they can enjoy it with dignity and independence. Those are big goals of the organizers and the state. Finally, to Carney, envision the day when you can walk or bike for hundreds of miles. In five years, the $480 million Whitpen Bridge over the Hackensack River should be completed, connecting Kearney and Jersey City. It's part of a bigger plan to have walking and biking trails for 3,000 miles, all the way from Florida to Maine. The Bike and Walk Coalition says several other connections need to be planned and made eventually linking many trails and even Newark to Jersey City. Organizers hope the trails will connect with light rail stations as well and local parks to give folks access to walking and biking free of cars and free of trucks. And that's our Garden State Express for this March 28, 2017. Something up in your neighborhood? Tip us off.